Hello. Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today is chest day. I'm going to do chest, shoulders, triceps. So it's push day basically. Um, I'll probably throw in some abs as well because I've been neglecting my abs. In my last video, I talked about how I was kind of taking a break from pre-workout. I mean, I took some last time I worked out a little bit. I'm probably going to take a little bit more today. I really want to get a good chest workout today because I haven't done flat bench in like probably two weeks. I am going to take some pre-workout. Oh, I got my lashes done. I haven't got my lashes done in like over a month. Instant confidence boost when I got them done. Like I feel like myself again. I feel confident and yeah, it's expensive. It really is expensive, but it's worth it for me in my opinion. Anyways, it's it's worth it to me Um, anyways, um, ciao. Anyway, so that was very random and off topic, but yeah, I'm gonna take my pre workout. Alright, so I guess I'm not taking pre workout because it looks like my husband took it with him. I told him I was taking a break from pre workout. I probably should have told him not to take it to work with him because he usually goes to the gym at his lunch break. No pre workout. We can do this. Let's go. Oh, I'm also having a slice of cold pizza left over from last night because I was too lazy to make food after my workout and I just wanted to get these errands done so cold pizza it is. Ew, it's like hot today. Like excuse me. It's February, it's not supposed to be
bitch, I could be a fantasy. Pretty face, no waste, and a big old ass. Huh? Woo, this is how I feel, I feel like baby, 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 uh. Need a new Mercedes, uh. I'm an actor, fully, uh. Let it all out, the negativity behind every city. Like, look, bitch, I don't even know what the fuck made you mad, but running your mouth is easy. Use that energy to chase a bag. I'm telling my girl, you cute, you thinking I'm trying to fight. I'll never hate on you, baby, you doing that by yourself. Oh my gosh. So I'm leaving Sally Beauty right now. I just needed to get some dye to touch up my roots. And there was a woman in there. This was so weird. Before they opened, I was standing outside waiting for the door to open. And I was looking at the reviews for this particular Sally Beauty online just because it was like they opened at 10 and it was already like past 10. And I was looking at the reviews because this is like every single time i come right when they open they don't open at 10 like they're always late and whatever i don't care i'm not i'm not one to really complain i just kind of go with the flow but it was weird that i just had happened to look at the reviews today and i saw all the negative reviews and i just went in like usual whatever and i'm looking for what i need and there's one other person in the store and she asks the worker a question and they're kind of talking back and forth i wasn't really listening until i kind of heard them starting to sort of argue i feel like the lady working there was being really rude to her i'm not gonna lie and like that's kind of what the reviews said online too is that the employees are really rude the customer was like she's like i can't i can't and she started walking like towards me and i was looking at her like she's being really rude like I understand why you feel like that like I was like she's so rude and then I didn't really mean to but I kind of got in the middle of it and the, the worker was like I'm trying to explain something to you ma'am I'm so awkward and uncomfortable in these types of situations like I wanted so badly to like really stand up for the customer I'm just so uncomfortable the best I could do was like I was like let me try and help you like I'm not super knowledgeable but like I'll do my best she was like explaining to me what she needed whatever and then the the employee was like i was trying to explain to her this and then the lady was like no she was doing this and i felt like i was like <laughs> like the mom in the middle like listening to my two children fight and i was just like oh this is so awkward but yeah that was so weird that i just happened to be looking at the reviews like just like makes me think like I feel like I'm a super positive person and I mean I get it you never really know what somebody may be going through but like there are some people who just in general are just like negative mean people and it's like what are you so mad about like I get it like I said some people are going through something and you know may not have it very easy and I feel for those people but the people that are just mean and mad at the world for no reason like dude like why like I just don't get it seeing people like that just makes me whoa that's a red light my dude that person just flew through that red light as if it was green <laughs> anyways coming in contact with people like that just makes me really grateful for how far i've come life is so much better when you're just when you choose to be happy like that is key you have to choose to be happy like there are so many people who are just always complaining and always finding something bad with the world and with their life and just whatever they're like constantly focused on the negative and like complaining and i just can't stand people like that and like again i'm just so grateful i'm not like that i'm actually the opposite just super grateful and happy and i always try and look for the positive like if i'm upset for some reason i always look for the positives this is another thing it's kind of on this same like topic and this kind of changed my life like, Not really changed my life. That's dramatic. but i feel like everybody should practice this you know when you're just going about your day you are cleaning or you're doing something and like you stub your toe or you smash your finger or something where it's like it hurts but it's a minor inconvenience and like so many people will like be like ah oh, and just pissed off and angry or like if they spill their drink or something and they'll be so mad and it'll ruin their day 
every single time something like that happens to me, I just take a deep breath and I tell myself that is the universe just telling me to slow down, take a deep breath and to show gratitude. It's like a reminder to be grateful and to slow down. And that really changed my life. So anytime I have a minor inconvenience like that, I take it as a good thing and I show gratitude and tell the universe thank you and I just take a deep breath and I slow down. And I feel like everybody should work on that because seriously, those little inconveniences, like it should not ruin your day. And I'm kind of rambling now, but I felt really bad for that lady. So it's the next day and yesterday, as you saw, I stopped at the beach during the evening just to catch the sunset and it inspired me to come back. So it's 9.30 in the morning on a Friday and it's a beautiful day and I'm just gonna go to the beach and walk around and just get some vitamin D and enjoy the morning. Nobody out here right now. It's so beautiful out here right now. I definitely want to make it a priority to get outside more by myself and just go explore and get some vitamin D and collect my thoughts because I feel like when I lived in Japan I did that all the time like every day I would go out and do something by myself and just be outside and set my intentions for the day or for the week or for the year whatever it may be and since moving here, I haven't done it as much as I would like to. So that's definitely a priority of mine now. I've really been putting more of an effort to make that happen. And today I wanted to take you guys with me.